I got it. That's the guy from Big. The man behind the mask, that's it. Oh, funny guy, the man behind the mask. Everything he says is a stitch. Hello and welcome to episode, uh, six, I believe, of the Wallace cast. Let me check to make sure I'm getting that right. And I'm certain this is episode six. I, um, yeah. So. Episode six, uh. We got questions this time that, uh. Some good maskers sent me. Quite generic, obviously. Well, not obviously, but unfortunately I meant to say. Um, generic. Not really that niche, but it's... And that's something to talk about, isn't it? Uh, so, it's been a while since the last episode of the Wallace cast. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I just haven't had the uh, drive to make one. Can't really force myself to make these, they have to come at a certain time. Uh what should we talk about? Uh what should we talk about? I've been uh reading some books. In the time since the last Wallace cast I have read uh wait actually when was the last Wallace cast uploaded because that will let me let me check. I did it so episode five, the big mouth episode, twenty twenty. Okay, yeah, a lot, a lot has happened. Double for me, yeah. Fuck hell. Um, so since then, I've read all of the Death Note manga, which was very good, very very good, as good as the anime. Five out of five, loved it. Big on it, very 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 massive on it. Uh, I read what was it? Uh, a book about what the fucking Russian history. Um, I've got it right here. It's under my desk. Uh, Michael and Natasha: The Life and Love of the Last Tsar of Russia. It's a very uh, long book. It's like a. It's like almost five hundred pages, I think. Um. You know, I've been trying to get more into some non-fiction as well. You know, cut my teeth on that because the only book non-fiction book I'd really read prior to this was um. What was it? The right wing youth lessons for right wing youth by Julius Evola. Not a very good book. Not a very good book. Evola's not a good person, uh, and he's not good at writing. So that kind of put me off, uh, like political theory, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that didn't stop me buying a second book, of course. But we'll get to that later. So after that, I read. I I bought a history book. Uh, called Where the Iron Crosses Grow, which is about Crimea during the Second World War. Was a very good read, very good read, very entertaining. Didn't think it was worried I wouldn't find myself enjoying it, and I bought that while I was in Peterborough visiting some good friends of the uh, of the channel. Uh, and one of whom might or might not be on the TCP. Uh, so after that, which I finished fairly recently, I ordered my second political book, which is a uh, the Unibomb Manifesto or Industrial Society in Its Future. I'm about, it's it's like, n not that long of a book, but I'm about a third of the way through it. It's fine. It's nowhere near as boring as um, Evola. So that's made me more confident and more open to potentially buying more theory. Well, and not theory, but, you know, political stuff in the future. Uh, and then after that, I've got my, uh, well, my dad gave me an Isaac Asimov book to read, but I haven't cracked into it yet. Uh, I can't, it's on this side of my room, I'm not going to go get it, but it is an Isaac Asimov book. Uh, and then after that, I can finally crack into the uh, Lord of the Rings books and The Hobbit, which I got for Christmas, but I haven't, I haven't started yet. That, because I'm putting that at like, the end of my re reading journey, once I've exhausted everything. But new books just keep coming in to add on to, on, add on to it, you know. Uh, and then, you know, every day else when I read my, uh, my Bible, uh, King James Version. Got it when I was christened, but well, got it at my christening, after I was baptized into the Church of England. Uh, need to get a Dewey Rains one though, because that's a Catholic translation. Um, what else? Now that we're talking about books for about four minutes and twenty seconds. Oh, uh, what have I what have I been doing since since last time? Um, that is a good one. Uh, uh, 
So I've seen Evangelion, that anime, and the rebuild films. Stunning. Very... Well, it was stunning. Some of the best content I've ever seen. Some of the best content I've seen is now... That includes two animes, Death Note and Evangelion. The rebuild films, also, three or four of them. Three out of four of them, incredibly good. 3.0 was a bit lacking. Quite, you know, meh. Not that it was bad. Still, was still good. Just compared to the other four, wasn't that wasn't that good, you know? Uh, seen Peep Show since, um, we last talked. Very funny show. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? My favorite character is fucking Jeff. You know, when he's all like, uh, you know, he does that little devilish uh, smile and that. I love it. You know, he's he's a he's a he's a resident troll, if you will. Um. What else? I mean, that's like the broad strokes. Got a job, a part-time job, earn some money. Not that bad. Although, would have to work less if you all subscribe to my Patreon, which exists. Uh, <laughs> don't actually, don't actually, because it's not worth it. Uh, I cancelled the roadmap, the twenty twenty one roadmap. And actually, let's talk about that. So the 2021 roadmap, uh, I was fond of the idea initially. Uh, you know, I thought, oh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll pace it and like, you know, it would be good to have a video out every month or at least w- once every month. Um, but the issue with like pre-planning these videos is just, I either ended up brushing them at the last minute till they were shit or just didn't want to make them. Uh, so, uh, you know, some of the videos on that roadmap will still be made if I pull up the roadmap now. My PC got wiped out of the image. I have to pull it up on YouTube. Uh, where is the roadmap? Yeah, here it is. So, um, where is it? Yeah, here it is. So, 21st Century Humor got made. Dark Store Game 4 got made. UK Soft Drinks tier list got made. Bobby 4 got cancelled because it would have been shit. Me and Lads 3 got made. Still Game X The Inbetweeners didn't get made because it was going to be made where we were making it and i had an intro opening made and it was so good and and i'd started making it the script was coming along nicely pc got fucked my ssd you know got fucked uh so i lost it i lost the script pretty much which was very sad because what i had was very very funny uh Dark Still Game 5. Did I make that one? Well, it, it shouldn't be out yet, but like, I don't think I made it, did I? Yeah, no, I didn't. That one's probably not going to get made. Because, for, for, to be honest with you, by by the time I was making it, I said 4, I was already like Simpsons tapped out of ideas, bro. Wallace cast the movie. That one was kind of a joke, to be honest with you. I needed something extra for winter 2021 and like, or to film that gap and... I mean, look at look at the background for the te- the texture for the text is literally like Minecraft stone brick, mossy stone brick. I mean, there'll be more Wallace casts. I might even someday make like an hour long Wallace cast. Maybe this will be it. Who knows? I don't know. As I'm recording this, I doubt it though. Um, that one was kind of a joke. Uh, green gaming Black Mesa. Well, expecting more green gaming. Full stop. The Black Mesa one should happen someday. Half Life Two one as well. Um. I do have one I'm going to start making because I've had that on the brain a lot recently. It's a game I used to love playing on the Xbox 360. I uh, won't say any more than that. Green Rank 5 will come out eventually. Oh, It's going to bring up the old chances though because the reason I never made it initially back in the day because it was meant to be the conclusion. The lot, man. Like, like, I know it's a fucking meme series or whatever but like no idea what to do with it because on one hand you've got like all this Arcadia virus wash and then you've got like Big Joe and stuff and like you know, no idea how to marry that, like, in, and, like, conclude it properly. But, you know, I'm not the best writer in the world, so that makes sense. Uh, so I cancelled the roadmap, because Bobby 4 was shit. Still Game 5, Dark Still Game 5, no ideas for was because the movie's a joke, and Still Game Mixed in between us. Hit a massive development issue, because the script got fucked really hard. Um, I 
I think now we can go for um, the questions. But first, we need to have an intermission. All right, welcome back from that intermission. I used the time to go to the toilet, um, do other things, you know. I have to change my shirt because I was sweating a bit because it's a bit hot right now in my room. Uh, let's answer some questions, shall we? I have uh, five questions from Maskers. So let's just pull them up. First one, these are all very generic, by the way, as I said, you know, they didn't put much thought, thought power into this. If you inherited our one million dollars, What's the very first thing you would do with the money? Uh, so the joke answer is that I'd uh, oh, I'd buy myself eighteen Lamborghinis, like, and I'd like go sit, like, sit visit KSI or some, some or some shit. Like, and, uh, I don't know, I'd like you know, buy a nice house, car, probably invest a lot of it so I had lots of money when I retired. I don't, <laughs> don't know. Uh not very, like I said, these aren't good questions. If you if you have a question you want me to answer in the next Wallace cast, leave it in the comments below, because uh, that will uh, make the next one's, que you know, episode seven's uh, questions more interesting. Favorite day of the week? Fucking hell, these questions. I know, like I said, atrociously generic. Um, favorite day of the week? I'm quite well because of the days I'm off from work. I'm quite fond of uh fucking monday which is weird because monday's you know the, the worst day of the week and fucking garfield hates monday and all that but like quite late monday because i'm usually off uh you know i mean that is set to change and it's getting swapped i'll have sundays off but like so maybe sunday will become the favorite after that uh, well yeah it definitely will attitudes will change um yeah, because it's one of my two days off. Uh, who else? If I get rid of the world, of, if I could rid the world of one disease, what would it be? So the obvious answer under today's current climate is all COVID-like, but like, obviously you know should be one that causes way more suffering or like, you know, it kills more people. Um, some well, I could say asthma because I have it, but that's kind of selfish because most asthma is not that bad and quite manageable. Um. We could go for like heart disease. Heart disease might be a shout. Or cancer, obviously. But that might be too broad because cancer's a. Uh, there's loads of different types of cancer. So, it, it, yeah, that's my answer. Either cancer or uh, heart disease. Or maybe Alzheimer's slash, de slash dementia. That. Any of those three. Fourth question. What board game do I like the most? Um. So recent, well, since the last TCP, not TCP, since the last Wallace cast, a lot of online, a lot of online Monopoly was played, and very good times were had. Didn't win, but you know, a lot of fun times were had. Um, what's this? My favorite, my favorite board game was uh, Shogun, which was a game I used to play a lot in uh, like year five and year six with my uh, friend who had it. Yeah, I'm I'm getting it mixed up or something. Else. Um. It was a very fun game, you know, like a tabletop strategy almost, you know, map of Japan, pick, get, get your areas picked out, got a fight for it and that. Very uh, good game. Would recommend it, actually. I'd probably still play it if I could find a, a version of it on, like, Amazon or something. I, think, I don't think they make it anymore, though. Quite an old game. Uh, yeah. I mean, what next? Um... If you were offered the position of mayor of your city, would you take it? Well, I'm not in a city, I'm in a town, but that's beside the point. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, actually, probably, yeah, would. Oof. That's, that's all the questions. Uh, this isn't going to be the Wallace cast movie. This isn't going to be the mythical hour-long Wallace cast. Don't think I can ever realistically bring myself to talk for an hour don't know what on earth i would talk about 
I'm frankly amazed, well, I'm Oscarly amazed that I've made it past 15 minutes just now, to be honest with you. Um, I went to a football match for the first time. That was pretty cool, I guess. Uh, saw Carlisle United play against Leighton Orient. It was quite ultimate. Shame it was a tie and the shame that Carlisle didn't win. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> Chants were really funny, like when they called the goalie a pedo. The Leighton goalie, that is. Uh, <laughs> your fucking shit was quite funny as well. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> quite good. Uh, very glad I tried it, because I did like it. We'll do it again, hopefully. Uh, I go back to uni in September as well, so that's gonna be a thing. Uh, means I get way better internet, so I'm looking forward to that. But on the other hand, you know, lo lose access to my pets, lose access to my family. Well, not access, but you know what I mean. Not there physically. Uh... I'll be fine though, you know, I'm at this point I already do my own cooking and shopping for myself because I'm fucking vegetarian, so it just makes it, it's just easy that way if I do my own shopping so my mum doesn't have to look for all my stuff for me. Um, hopefully my university experience will be better than it was last year because there'll be no COVID, or hopefully. If there's another lockdown, I, I will lure the university for a whole other year and that will be fun for no one. Um, what else? My driving test is in September, soon, so should have my license this year, finally. I would have had it last year if, if you know, swathes of my lessons weren't cancelled by COVID. But, you know, can't, can't change that now. Just gotta look ahead. Um, life is looking up, I think. Not that I don't, not that I'm not happy. Life is still, but, you know, I, I think I'm going from a level of decent happiness up to a level of a higher happiness, broadly speaking, which is uh, I'm 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 glad. Lost a bit of weight since last time as well. Uh, you know, good things. Good things have uh been happening. Um, I'm not gonna try and push this, the twenty minutes. Might just stop it now before when it gets to seventeen thirty-eight. But thanks for watching. Fucking subscribe. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>